Now, once the system has been bulk conveyed from the bulk transportation now into our bulk storage, now the implant system design is what I'd like to touch base on here with respect to um, uh, pneumatic conveying systems. So uh, there's two different relationships that have to be managed when you put together a, a, a resin conveying system. There's mechanical relationships with respect to how the system is put together and where each of the different uh, resins could be conveyed to, for lack of a better term. Uh, and there's also software relationships, and that's really where, where, where Conair advances in our industry because our software is state-of-the-art to be able to understand all the different material library, all the different destinations, how the equipment is talking to each other on a mechanical sense, and what type of settings and what type of uh, uh, features can we have in the system to be able to truly make the system adaptable for any application. And Conair has done that with SmartFLX. Now, when talking about um, uh, uh, system components and how they're put together, let's tie the, the mechanical relationship and the software relationship together. I'm just going to show a ruler here, and this is going to show different, uh, I, guess, I guess, illustrate to how much resin we're filling a receiver with, for example. How the systems work is we have our receiver vessel. If the resin is being consumed by the injection molding machine or the extruder below, as that screw recovery or that continuous screw process is sucking the resin down via gravity, uh, that, that resin level is, is going to be falling down, the, uh, down this ruler, for example. Once it hits a certain level, we have a demand sensor here. And if, if that receiver goes in demand, it's a first-in, first-out put algorithm. And what we're going to do here is that that receiver is now going to go up and, and go next in queue to be able to be conveyed to. When that starts to convey, we're firing a sequence valve that's allowing the air to pass now through the receiver, from the pickup point through the receiver back to the pump, like we talked about earlier in this, in this discussion, and now the resin is being conveyed into the receiver. As that receiver is filling up, we either do this based on a time fill, and a time fill is a little more difficult to balance, but certain applications are, are able to, to utilize that. Uh, that setting, but or, or we can have a high level sensor. So we, we create demand, we start filling this receiver up, and then we shut that receiver uh, uh, filling off based on a high level sensor. And that's how we always ensure that there's resin in this receiver that's feeding that material consumer now down below it. Now, outside of how the, how the receiver works, how we just talked about the demand sensor and a high level shutoff sensor, uh, we also have uh, something that I'd like to talk about called pump stacking. And this is a true feature of the Smart FLX control to be able to allow that we don't have vacuum pumps fighting each other throughout the material handling system. Like we've talked about, the Smart FLX can manage all of the different sources and it understands what source is associated with what receivers. If we're passing through an RFID proofed resin selection station, we have that feedback and we understand where all the different connections are now in the system. Now, if you assign a uh, multiple receivers to the same source, either through a resin selection station or on a common line, we have to manage that uh, software to, to make sure that each of those first in, first out uh, algorithms that we put together and each of those cues for the receivers, we now have to stack those on top of each other. And we call that pump stacking because now I have two different vacuum generating sources supplying vacuum to two different receivers that could potentially be hooked up to the same source. At one point, those conduits merge to the same pickup point. We have the capability now to manage that. So this is yet another relationship where the software relationships within the system have to match that of the physical relationships, and the smart FLX is smart enough to understand this throughout your system.